Good afternoon. Today I want to talk about gas hot water heaters. There's a temperature control valve. This gray box is called a temperature control valve. I had a situation a couple of days ago where my um, temperature control valve had failed. Um, the black part in the back is where it began to leak. There was a significant leak back on the black part of this valve. Um, there's no known particular reason why uh, that part would fail, but if it does, you're going to have a significant leak. And if you don't have a drainage pan like I have here, you're going to have an issue particularly if you're not home and this happens. Uh, my setup, unfortunately, um, I had to get someone um, out here to repair this, uh, just due uh, to the setup that I have here. Uh, I've seen s some setups where this natural gas line, this copper line coming out of the ground, where this line feeds directly inside of the inlet here. But, unfortunately, my setup is um, different. And um, I, was, I was uncomfortable with um, performing the repair myself. But, here's the old valve. And the part that failed is this part back here. This plastic part as you can see see there's a tear in the plastic there there's a tear there and I'm thinking that it's be really because it got old it's plastic and when plastic gets old it gets brittle and with brittleness eventually it would crack that is really what's wrong with this Honeywell unit. Um, so if you have a Honeywell unit uh, like this one, um, there's a there's a possibility that that could happen. And if it does, this repair is actually a do-it-yourself job. If that copper gas supply line is feeding directly into the inlet valve of the temperature control valve. If it's like my setup where you have steel elbows and steel uh, pipes all connected, you may want to uh, get a plumber out there to repair it. Um, it's really about an hour, hour and a half job. This part is actually uh, very difficult to find. It, it depends on the model of your w hot water heater. Um, in my situation, there was only one in stock in this whole city. Um, you know, I needed to get this done, uh, repaired this day. You know, on, you know, on that day, I didn't want to wait. Um, you know, to get this repaired. But this part can actually be kind of hard to find depending on your model number and your serial number of your hot water heater. But basically the way it works is um, you will unscrew the gas supply line. Now in my situation, you will hold a crescent wrench here and unscrew this this pipe. First you will cut your gas off here and cut your gas off to your um, gas hot water heater first. Then you will put a crescent wrench here, unscrew this, um, and you will go about taking this apart. But you will actually go about taking this this um, this apart. Um, and a lot of setups I've seen where this gas line is connected directly into this valve here inside. 
that makes it a lot uh, a lot easier to do because then you only have one thing to uh, take off but here you would have to actually figure out how to take all of this out and putting this back together without having a gas leak um, but once you do manage to get all of this apart then you would have to come down here and actually take this silver pipe um, take that uh, a loose and in order to do that you have to take off the uh, this little mounting uh, panel here and there's some screws actually behind that to uh, unloosen and make this uh, loose enough so that you could actually um, take this unit off but then you would take off the electrical connections you actually take those off after you take this off the supply then you could take the electrical off the, you know just simply disconnect it uh, loosen the silver pipe down here and that's a process in and of itself it's not going to be a, a fast job if you're doing it yourself but I'm pretty sure if, if you take your time it can be done then what you would do is just simply uh, unscrew this entire unit simply unscrew screws into the gas screws into the gas uh, tank it screws inside so all you do is just unscrew it and it comes out and then you take put the new one in and installation is reverse of uh, this connection so I just wanted to let you guys know I was unaware that this part could actually fail this new part that I have is by uh, icon system and um, this part that failed on the Honeywell model here the part that failed here is plastic on this one but on the um, icon system it's metal so the thought is is that that would not fail that should be less likely to fail so with that peace and blessings see you next time